YouTubers, hey, I'm back. I've got a reboot video for you today. It's been a couple of years since I shot my last How to Survive Summer video. So today I wanted to revisit that and just go through some of my holy grail products that I tend to use in the blistering summer heat. So other YouTubers, you feel me, it's getting really hot. Um, of course, it's close to Christmas. Um, I live here in Brisbane and Brisbane pretty much has two seasons. So you've either got sunny and dry or the alternative is you've got sunny, humid and wet. So by wet I mean storms, rain, uh, all that sort of stuff. So in the summertime uh, we really need some really excellent products uh, to help us get through. Uh, and to survive the Brisbane heat. So here we go, I'm just gonna dive straight in. To start with, I'm going to show you my Miracle Primer. And my Miracle Primer of late has been the Hourglass Veil Primer. Now I know this one has been talked up a bit on YouTube, uh, that's where I got the idea to purchase it. I did purchase it from Mecca. Uh, on the online service. So really loving this one in the summer, especially in Brisbane. My makeup can almost eat itself through the day and the fact that I have oily skin means that that can contribute to uh, my makeup just not lasting. This is a really nice runny product and I find it feels quite tacky on the skin. So I know that my foundation is really going to grip to it and it's going to last all day. The second product I wanted to show you is, again, something new to my repertoire. I've been using it for a while now. Actually, since it first started to heat up, I purchased this, again, from Mecca. I find myself in Mecca a lot and also on the website. Anyway, this is the Urban Decay De Slick Makeup Setting Spray, and it's in the oil control formula. I adore this product. I don't know what I've been doing with my life before I found this. All I do is I spray it on on a, a T shape and then a cross shape over my finished face. So after I've done foundation, I've done eyes, I've done lips, I've done everything, I finally set it with this product. Now I will go through the day, I'll do work, I'll be running around indoors, outdoors, in the humidity and the heat, by the time I get back home, sometimes it's 5.30, 6 p.m., I go to take off my makeup and it is still there. The most impressive part for me is in the summer humidity, I can still see my blush at the end of the day, which is something that never used to happen. It used to always fade, disappear, get eaten by my oil, but with this amazing product, it stays. The other great thing I love, again, being an oily skin person, is that it provides a protective layer and it really mattifies the skin throughout the day. So I'm finding I don't have to apply powder or blush quite as much throughout the day. So this is a real winner for me. Now the next product is a bit of a weird one. Um, I've started using it oh, maybe a year, maybe two years ago. And again, it's one of those products where I just think, what have I been doing? It's not a common product, I don't think. Um, it's actually called 3B Cream. Now, what this does is when I apply it to my inner thighs, to my butt underneath my breasts, um, I find that it really protects from that disgusting, sweaty feeling. I don't know if you guys experience this, I'm not a particularly big girl, I guess you could say, but in the disgusting Brisbane heat, I do find I get swamp butt, <laughs> and it's gross, and it's not nice to talk about, but you know what, this works wonders. It's like a, a liquid deodorant for those parts of your body where you get a bit swampy <laughs> in the summertime, so I highly recommend this. You don't need a lot of product. Uh, this one will last me the entire summer, probably maybe two summers. 
um, but I love it. Really cheap, just buy it at the chemist. The next one I want to talk about is a product uh, which I've only just come across and it's really, really useful for people like me that are pretty pale um, at all times of the year, summer included. It is the Saint Tropez in shower tanning lotion. So this is what it is, um, plenty of reviews on YouTube, plenty of how-to uh, tutorials, etc. But I find this is by far the most convenient and nicest looking tanning product for me personally. Because I'm so pale, I don't like to look like an Oompa Loompa. I don't particularly like uh, spending time having to get a spray tan. All of those things involve way too much effort for someone like me. Uh, so I love using this product in the shower. So it's as easy as washing yourself in the shower, turning off the water, applying this in circular motions until you've got an even coating over your body, and then waiting for three minutes. So once the three minutes is up, you simply wash yourself, you rinse off all of the product, and then you hop out of the shower, gently pat yourself dry. You don't want to wipe the product off. Uh, but from there, I mean, you're free to put on clothes, you can go about your daily business and the tan will slowly develop over the next 24 hours. What I love about this product is it's not in your face. It's really not intense uh, and what it does is it gives me a really lovely golden sun-kissed glow to the areas that don't glow. <laughs> As I said, I'm really pale, this looks super natural. You can increase the intensity if you put it on over perhaps several days, uh, do once a day. Uh, but I tend to use this maybe once a week and it just looks really lovely, really even. Uh, and I don't have to worry about investing a huge chunk of time into applying tan. It's going to look orange. The next product really works into the Saint Tropez in shower tanner. Uh, what it is is it's the Saint Tropez prep and maintain. So this is just a body moisturiser, but what I like about it is that it's non-greasy and they say it's designed to enhance the tan that you get from the Saint Tropez tanning products. I don't know if that's the case, I've got to be honest, I haven't really put it through its paces in that respect, but I just really like the feel of it. It sinks in instantly into the skin, feels really lovely. And as the promise says, uh, it's really not oily. It doesn't leave any residue on the skin. So I find this really quick, really simple to put on after a shower, especially in this disgusting humidity when you get out of the shower and you kind of feel wet anyway. This is really nice and drying. I don't feel all sticky and icky when I get into my clothes after I put this on. So highly recommend it. The next product is a new one for me. Uh, it's been around for forever, but I've never really bought any. Uh, what it is, is it's a beach spray. Now, I can't say that I bought this one in particular because of the brand or anything like that. It's just by Mark Anthony. First one I came across, to be honest. Really cheap, uh, buy it at a chemist, buy it at a department store, buy it at a supermarket even. Uh, but what you do, spray it into your hair, scrunch your hair up a little bit, like I've done today, and it will give you beach waves. I've just put it into dry hair, so it's just given me a little bit of body uh, to my normally straight hair. Uh, but if you put it into wet hair or damp hair, it'll give a more pronounced um, beach wave or beach curl. So I really like this in the summer. It's easy, it's simple, it's casual, which is what I think summer is all about. Now the next one, I'm throwing in a few weird ones <laughs> in this video. Uh, this one's important to me in the summer months because I don't wear socks with shoes. Just putting it out there. Uh, I will always, always wear odor eaters in my shoes. But in the summer months, I find it is imperative to wear these. Feet get sweaty. My feet get sweaty in particular, especially in the humidity in summer in Brisbane. 
So odour eaters are great. Um, they actually suck up the odour, suck up the sweat. Uh, this particular brand that I get, um, it's charcoal. So the charcoal activates and it stops any odours. So when I'm going to my uh, beauty therapist, for example, I'm not ashamed to take off my shoes. My feet, my shoes smell great and it actually makes my shoes last a lot longer. So again, a really weird one. Buy this from the supermarket, chemist, Priceline, etc. Cheap, but I couldn't do without it. Now one of those really important products to me, in particular in the summer heat, is a really good deodorant. Now I don't think I've found the holy grail deodorant, I'm sorry. I've looked, I've looked, believe me, but the clinical protection Rexona comes pretty close. The one I like is the Summer Strength. Um, again, in the summer in Brisbane, it's gross, I sweat, underarms get wet, it's just not pleasant. Whereas when I wear this product, I find that it keeps me dry, um, it will keep me smelling nice, I don't get that horrible BO smell. Uh, and it lasts throughout the day, so I can literally put this on in the morning at 6am, come home at 6pm, it's fine. I'm still under control, I'm still protected. The only thing I don't like with this is that it leaves a really white, chalky residue. So if you're wearing dark clothing, it's not the greatest, and you've got to be really careful that you don't get white marks over whatever you're wearing. So not the holy grail, but as close as I've come. Uh, again, get this from supermarkets, chemists, etc. One of my most prized products uh, within the summer months is a really good blotting paper. Again, I'm oily all year round, but in particular in the summer, it can mix with sweat, and I can find myself getting more shiny throughout the day. So the brand that I like is the, I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong, Shiseido. <laughs> Terrible! Uh, anyway, I really like the Shiseido um, blotting papers. They are on the more expensive side. I know you can get them from discount stores, from chemists for a couple of dollars. But I have to be honest, I have not found any that compare to this range. These are amazing. Uh, I'll go through maybe one, maybe two each time I blot. I mainly blot when I'm not wearing any makeup, any products, um, because my skin just naturally gets oily. Uh, so really, really love these. Uh, again, on the expensive side, I do tend to get them online. There's a few retailers that stock them, and you get a pack of I uh, think it's about three or four, um, and fabulous, fabulous product. I'll be continuing to repurchase these until I find anything better, but so far nothing has compared. It's actually worth the money. Now something I use all year round, but I find particularly important in the summer months, is my exfoliating gloves. Now, I replace these pretty regularly, probably every two to three months, just because they get a bit gunky and a bit gross. Uh, but what I do is I wear these in the shower. I just pop them on. I will apply my cleanser, my body wash, to the gloves. I'll wash myself, but I'll also make sure that I go over every square inch of my body. Now, they're quite rough, but rough in a, a more gentle way, if that makes sense. So what it does is it really stimulates the blood flow. It also sloughs away any gross dead skin cells. And I find that to be particularly important in the summer. Again, I'm showing more of my skin. So my arms, my chest, my legs, it's, it all comes out in the summer. <laughs> so I prefer to use this. Of course, there's plenty of people that don't really care and that's totally fine. Um, but I find this is great. Buy these from the supermarket, they're a couple of bucks each. And like I said, I replace them pretty regularly, so you don't want to hold on to it for too long. Now, one great product that I have discovered over the last couple of years is shellac nail polish. Now, like most of you, I just don't have time to go to a beautician. Um, don't have the time or the inclination or the money to get it done all the time. So what I've done is invested in a kit from a website. It's called Glaze Me. It's an Australian-owned website. I really, really love their products. Their customer service is top-notch. 
um, but I thought I would show you my LED lamp. So this is the professional size. I think they've changed all the lamps since I purchased this. I did purchase it a few years ago. Um, this is large enough, as you can see, to full, fit a full finger, <laughs> to fit a full hand, uh, and also to fit your whole foot in at a time. Uh, it has an adjustable timer, so you can put it in from anywhere from one second all the way up to a couple of minutes. I generally only need 30 seconds per coat. And I find myself doing my nails maybe once every two weeks. If I want to change the colour a bit more frequently, uh, I'll do it more often. But the shellac nail polish that I purchased through Glaze Me literally lasts for two weeks and it looks fabulous. The reason I'm putting it into my summer's video is the fact that I show my toes a lot more in the summer. I tend to wear open toed shoes a lot more. And again, it's a personal thing. Other people might not do that, but I do. So I find it's really important to have a really good pedicure set so you can keep yourself looking nice. Ooh, it's hot. Doesn't help with all these lights. Oh, how apt. Shooting a summer video when it's really hot. So just to wrap up guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope that you found something interesting, something that maybe you want to try yourself. I'm always interested to hear about your experiences with what I've mentioned or if you've got any other holy grail products that you like to use in the summer. Hit me up, comment below. If you haven't subscribed already, I recommend it. There will be more videos coming with much better frequency. <laughs> there won't be such a long delay between videos. So again, thanks for watching. It's so great to be back and I'll see you in my next video.